millions of workers entrust their lives to their personal protective equipment each day, from construction workers, carpenters, iron workers, communication linemen, and maintenance technicians, to civil services, police, firemen, and emergency response teams. We depend on these people to build, maintain, and protect for our everyday lives. Most often their task goes as planned, but there is a dark side. Training is not commonly available to non-union workers and many types of personal protective products that could save lives every day do not exist. No foundation is in place promoting the development of their advancement. Did you know that safety harnesses workers currently wear, even when used properly, actually cause orthostatic intolerance? Orthostatic intolerance, or suspension trauma, restricts blood flow to the heart and can kill a person in as little as 8 minutes. My name is Maximus Wilhammer. I have traveled the country working many apprenticeships and studying every major trade until I became a construction superintendent. I soon realized there were major problems with the available equipment and so I began building and testing new designs that could be useful to specific trades to help make job sites more productive and safer. I have lost several friends and co-workers in accidents and I have seen some die firsthand. And when I look at their sons with torment and tears, I remember the loss of my father, how he died from a work-related injury. Life is tough enough, but when you lose your parent as a child, entire families are often left devastated and fractured forever. Did you know that in the United States, 17 people die each day from work-related accidents? Up to 100 workers die each day rebuilding Iraq. In places with less safety initiative like China, the death toll can be around 228 workers per day. Mind you, these are the soft numbers. If someone dies days or weeks later after the accident, rarely are they counted as dying from the actual work accident at all. And believe it or not, many families are not paid benefits. Why are people considered disposable? I am on a crusade to bring awareness to the need for new personal protective equipment for all workers with the world's most dangerous jobs, and I am on a mission to bring into existence the most advanced equipment to help protect others from experiencing the ultimate loss too soon. We need to stand together and break down these barriers that darken our world. Let us set a working example for the world to model. After all, the world we live in will be what we make of it, or allow it to be. I propose we dedicate one day a year for a National Harness Your Safety Awareness Day in remembrance of all of our fallen brothers and sisters. I challenge all personal protective equipment manufacturers to participate in an annual competition demonstrating the effectiveness of their equipment for people that work in hazardous jobs to have one day a year for education about the common causes of accidents and fatalities in their workplace as well as offer training for the appropriate protective equipment, harness safety, and rescue simulation. We need better equipment and better training. If you could save lives, create jobs, and help change the world, would it be worth minutes of your day? Would you tell your friends if you could help prevent a child from losing their parent? You can help create a time machine, in the sense you will be giving back precious time. Please join my crusade.